so was fired. And a few hours later he saw that his former boss was watching his stories on social media. Creeped out. He blocked his boss and a few hours later. Noticed that his boss's best friend was watching his stories on social media. This is when I told him to make his accounts private. It sucks to be navigating unemployment during the holidays. But I'm so glad he's no longer working for such an immature and toxic person. How are you gonna fire someone? Yell at them when they calmly ask why. And then a few hours later creep on their social media? Especially when you work in marketing and know that he can see you being a creeper? What an idiot. I strongly recommend keeping a hard line between your social media and your job, if you can. The creep was waiting for him to badmouth the company so they could get upset at his immature behavior giving them a reason to blacklist him and be able to give a bad review. Having been stalked and brigaded, doxxed by co-workers good move on your so's part. Lots of companies are turning to stalking tactics as part of their full intel workup on employees. And frankly it's unprofessional and unethical at least and should be illegal at most. Why does a company need to know my activities on Discord? They don't. But the HR and recruiter that hired me parked an account on my personal and main side gig effort. Servers. I've yet to take it to the company. Since they've done other shady stuff and so have previous employers I'll let this instance slide. The other place straight brigaded me and got me banned from a local discord when I asked the mods. To stop the bullying. Ironically one of the odds worked at the same place and banned me. They thought they were stealthy about it. But they got very lucky that discord back then didn't keep as detailed info archived as it does now. But that's just a couple examples. Less tech-inclined bosses will just stalk on Facebook and LinkedIn. And it is not okay. Best of luck in this hellscape. This is why on my social media profile I have nothing to do with the company I work for at all. In fact according to Facebook I work for a Chinese machinery company over in China Tears of Joy. This is why no matter what my real social media accounts are for family and extremely close friends. Only. And always set to private. I get that some places require you to give social media out. So I have a few throwaway ones for that. But no matter what. The real ones stay private. If they find out and try to push. It's a firm solid, no. If they push or try anything further equals I walk. Then I spend the next 23 weeks playing the fun game of trash your ex company on social media using burners. For higher ups that are paid so well because they're so busy generating value for the business. They sure do have a lot of time to stalk people. Funny. That. I only add trusted co-workers to my private social medias. Even then. It's only after a year of knowing them and we've established a friendship. I have never added a boss even after leaving the job. Reminds me of a boss at a coffee shop who told us all it was a huge red flag if we didn't let her follow our socials. When I was going through temp jobs a co-worker was refused to be hired unless they made a personal social media account because they didn't have one seemed really stupid but then again the company didn't care because we were just temps so yeah private the thing no need to mix business with personal i don't use social media this is my number two reason there's no reason to use your real identity anywhere online this is why i tell my co-workers that i don't use social medias not because of what i post Mostly cat videos and pictures of food lol. But because I rather keep my work life separate from my private life. What's the name of the business? Which social media where you can see who is viewing your profile? 
I'm not that savvy and have only FB and a Twitter I don't post on. Boss wanted to see if they were complaining publicly and shut that down. Creepy. Sad little bastards. He probably knows about the company doing something shady and doesn't realize it. What is it about marketing managers creeping around other social media? Had a marketing manager who would troll me in the earlier hours thinking she wouldn't be seen. Caught her more than once and eventually blocked her and her family. She had an intern troll and ex-colleague on Instagram and LinkedIn and would use her family members. Profiles to troll us. I left in the end because she was a very disturbed person. She still tries to look in on my profiles. But the ones I have up are dummies and are not used. I was also fired for something I said online. TBH I might just let my social accounts go dead except my Snapchat and Reddit where I'm completely private or anonymous. It's weird how quickly they found a comment I made on YouTube. You can't have a career and a social media account when you're autistic because eventually you say something regrettable. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.